gentlemen. This is a light middleweight contest made at 11 stone, two pass, four rounds, each round of two minutes. Fighting out of the red corner in white shorts from Salford, please welcome Steve And fighting out of the blue corner, one of the most promising young boxers to emerge in recent years. He's only 17 years old. I know that his hero and mentor is brother George, who has amassed 31 victories in 31 bouts. Please welcome, in purple shorts, from Camberley, in Surrey, Collins! At the weigh-in today, Foster Stone, seven pounds. Collins scaled 11 stone, two and a half pounds. Your referee, Jack Snipe. Your timekeeper, Tommy Rice. the best young prospect around he's going to be 18 next month he's won all nine he is in the purple trunks with a yellow stripe down the side against a much heavier and opponent steve foster from manchester who's coming at 11 7 as opposed to tony collins 11 2 and a half collins who began as a welterweight is now up among the light middles and i feel sure he's going to finish among the full middleweights but quite a test for him here because it's always a dangerous thing for fighters to give away that amount of weight. Fought just over a week ago in Cardiff. A bit of a battle, but he outpointed Swansea's Rocky Reynolds, rough, tough customer. And Collins, who was frustrated by only being able to go two-minute rounds. Always a rush job for him, these fights. He's going to have to, though, be patient until he turns 18. It is a problem for him, Jim Watt, that all his fights are really a sprint. He hasn't got time to build tactics and things like that. Yeah, well, this may be a good thing, actually, if he's giving a wee weight. I mean, yeah, Colin's a young fighter. He hasn't really matured yet, so it's always dangerous giving a wee weight. I know it's difficult to, to match young Collins because he's making such a name for himself. So maybe the shorter rounds have actually suit him at this stage in his career. The last thing I want to see is I'm worn out. Spent a long time, I know, in the dressing room, Tony Collins, warming up and getting absolutely sharp for the start of this fight. He's not allowed to box six rounds. He desperately wants to. Certainly there's a very impressive physique developing as we end the first round. Eighteen years next month. Six inside the distance. Unbeaten, of course, and looking to equal the great record of his elder brother, George. This is Stevie Foster, turned pro back in 1981, had three fights and then gave up the game to build up his own building business, a bricklayer originally, but he's come back and is a tough fighter, really. Much heavier, 27 years of age. So Tony Collins up and ready to go. He's a fellow who really seems to enjoy every second of every fight. I know Jim Watt Barry McGuigan has already said that Tony Collins has all the pedigree to be our next world champion. You might not have seen all that money with that. Well, well, I've seen him box a couple of times, and I wouldn't like to put the strain on him there, start talking about world titles already. But he certainly has all the talent. Uh, I prefer to wait until I see uh, a fellow tested before I make my mind up about him, but I've seen nothing wrong with him so far. He's very sharp, very fast, and he seems to have a bit of punching power. Although, at, at this stage in his career, he's moving up the weights. We'll see if he can take his punching power with him. One of his 
great strengths, Collins, is his body shots. He's knocked down a couple of opponents with great body shots, but I think Stevie Foster, that piece of information might have got to him because he's keeping up and using that weight advantage whenever he can. And I might be wrong here, Jim, but I get the impression that it could be a little bit of a tricky one for Collins to get through to this man tonight. Yeah, well, he's not taking any punishment, which is the main thing, especially at this stage, and he's picking them off with some nice punches there. Maybe we can't expect them to, to be looking Foster out, but that, again, we'll have to wait and see for a couple of Collins' just punches land cleanly. But it's a good test for him, and he's being careful. He's now and again, little traces of flashness come through, being very careful, and he's boxing quite a nice little fight. I think he's aware of that. I know his cornermen are they very keen for him to maintain this terrific appeal that he's got, but cut out some of the, the flashiness as well. This is no easy for him. Well, Tony Collins, I remember he had a, a very tough one with the, the Gloucester Southpaw, Rob Thomas, just a couple of fights ago. And he is moving up steadily, started at 10 stone six, and now at two and a half. And I know that Thomas said, he, well, he felt he was in with a baby and was going to take care of him, but Tony Collins has developed so quickly that he's anything but a baby at this game. And uh, Frank Evans and Brian Robinson working with Steve Foster. And pro at the age of 19 was due to fight George Collins a couple of years ago. That fight never came off, though. Just two minute rounds, please. For the protection of Tony Collins, Britain's last apprentice, although he's already showed me he doesn't need any protection once that bell goes. professional for just under a year so every fight is essentially a, a learning process for him he'll just pick up more and I think here he's got to learn how to handle a potentially dangerous opponent and we can't stress often enough how important that extra weight could be if Collins gets involved through this third round and it looks to me Jim as although Collins is starting to get through now that that extra weight is making it very hard for him to hurt the Manchester man yeah I think he should be quite content doing what he's doing he's keeping himself out of trouble he's not taking many punches he's boxing well nice and sharp he's not doing anything silly and uh, I think his corner will be quite pleased with that if he sees the chance I'm sure he'll come in with the, the big heavy punches but if he's pretty experienced and he's not easy to get at. Well, Tony Collins boxes with some very experienced fellas in the gymnasium. Not afraid to go in with anybody at all. And he's confirming his promise here. Comes back with a little smile to the corner. It hasn't been spectacular by his standard so far, but when we saw the calibre of the opponent, that's not surprising. And Steve Foster has had a good three rounds, a good opponent. Obviously keen to stamp his mark this fight, another fellow who used to be a welterweight and moved up through the divisions. Five lost six and drawn one, not the best of records, and he'd have to do something to get a win here tonight in this last round. Final instructions from Ernie Fossey. 
to Tony Collins, and I can't help but feeling he'll just say, just another couple of minutes, and that'll be another victory. Fourth and last round, then, and Tony Collins defending the unbeaten board. Won all nine in less than a year as a professional against the heavier man from Manchester, Stevie Foster. Over five pounds heavier, and right at the start of the two minutes, Collins got through with a good shot, a good left, and Foster took it and just came back from more. Jim Watt, just to sum it up for us, Tony Collins, a, a lot of a lot of promise there. Yeah, but well, as I said all the way through, I like the fact that he's not taking any punches. That's the main thing, especially when you're turning professional so young. Uh, he's very careful, he hasn't made any mistakes. He's been trying to, to solve out Foster, who is a difficult opponent, a heavier opponent and a, and a more mature opponent. So if young Collins gets through to a point, as I say, without taking any punishment, then it's a good night's work for him, and I'm sure he's learned from it. I know Tony Collins is an excellent trainer, and all he wants to do is fight, but at this stage of the career, he's almost got to be held back, got to be brought along steadily. A lot of time in front of him. Won a string of titles as a, an amateur. And I'm sure I've got that little pedigree as a professional. And now in the last minute or so, producing his best work of the fight so far. And got Foster looking a bit apprehensive above us. And this is a good performance from Collins against a heavier and more experienced man. And a little smile as though he knows he's going to run out of time. But he knows you get a warm reception from this Ali Pally crowd as well, and he'll deserve it. And Foster now, Jim doing a bit of running. Yeah, well, uh... Collins got through with a couple of decent punches, but uh, left his own chin hanging out. That's why we got a little smile. But uh, got back to nice and careful and settled for a points victory. Nothing wrong with that. A good night's work. Good body shots coming in at the end of the fight from Tony Collins. There can be only one verdict, really, from referee Jack Snipe. Ten out of ten now for Tony Collins, still unbeaten as a professional. And another very...